Hi everybody, it's obviously Raspberry here, and look, I finally am wearing a video, uh, I mean, it, let me just, I'm finally in a video with Raspberry's head on, and that is because I'm going to be doing the 3,000 subscriber special, and obviously, like, I got the questions right here, and I'm going to be doing them, or a uh, answering them and stuff, and it's like, yeah. So, and basically, you know, and I have a few questions here, and obviously I'm just going to answer them and stuff like that, because, like, you know, yeah, I haven't done a QA and a in a long time, and obviously I'm finally doing it again. So, yeah, you know, and just as, like, the thing, I am going to answer, like, the frequently quest asked questions at the end, obviously, like, you know, which are usually how much did she cost and who made her and stuff like that so yeah and the first question is by ugly fleabag and they ask did you ever expect to reach this milestone if not how is it and that answer is no i did not expect to reach 3000 subscribers like, I didn't even expect to reach 1,000. It's amazing. I love it. And obviously, it's like... And yeah, it's like, because like... I'm a furry and stuff, and obviously, that stuff kind of gets a lot of views now. I guess. But yeah, I never expected to get 3,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So yeah, that was like... The most shocking thing to me when I even reach 1,000. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is my answer to that question. And, let's see here. The next question is from Dizzy Rabbits. When did you start fursuiting? Uh, I believe I got Raspberry because she was technically my very first actual fursuit. Like, finished fursuit and, like, ready to start fursuiting. Um, back in, like... I think 2021, 2022, somewhere in like between late 2021 and early 2022. So yeah, and you know, yeah, that's when I started fursuiting around that time. So yeah, I don't know the exact 100% date because it's been so long since I had her and stuff. So yeah, that's just, yeah, that's like um the answer to that basically. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, this name is funny. Cute innocent child who is in a mastermind asked, Are the hard parts to what you are there any hard parts to what you're doing? I'm planning on doing similar stuff in the future. Um, yeah, there is like you know, hard parts to what I'm doing and stuff. There's like, you know, obviously the troll commoners who well, that's the thing, like, the people who comment, like, negative stuff, I don't really care that they comment negative stuff, because, like, it's, it's engagement. Like, it, it's engagement to my content, so obviously, um, you know, I don't really care anymore, and I'm just, and if you can see on my recent posts, you'll see that I'm more likely to like the comment and reply to it, like, you know... <laughs> Because, um, yeah, I don't really care that you're commenting on my stuff. And especially if it's like a little troll comment and stuff. Because, yeah, it's like, it's still engagement no matter what. And I find it funny how people don't understand that, um, you know, that their comment does not seem, it is negative, but like, I don't, like, YouTube itself is its algorithm doesn't see your hate comment as like actual hate. It just sees it as a comment. And so like three commenters saying, Oh, I'm a goofy furry and I'm just gonna be like, okay. And I am a furry. But YouTube sees three comments within the span of like five minutes from three separate people. Yeah, it's going to start pushing that out to more people, so yeah. So yeah, good luck with that, like, commenting, you know, 
Good luck commenting more and more on my stuff and obviously getting them out more. Yeah, thank you guys. But that's the answer to my question. Oh yeah, good luck. And let's see here. Taquito Bird asked, If you could change anything about how your first two head is built, what would it be? Huh, and that's actually the last, like, unique question, but, um, if I could change anything about her head, I don't know. That's the thing, like, I don't know exactly what I would change about her head, because, you know, before, like, she actually, like, I fully finished, um, the, oh, sorry, hiccups, the person that, like, did her, um, who made raspberry, they obviously said like work in progress photos. And I actually like approved of the progress photos. So yeah, honestly, I wouldn't have changed her because she would have already looked different if I wanted anything changed. So yeah, that answers your question to that, which is like I would I would she would have not looked like this if I wanted anything changed. So yeah. And now, I'm going to take her off real quick. It's getting pretty hot in her head. But I'm going to keep her, like, right here, obviously. Just to, like, show you guys and stuff. And I'm obviously going to, like, like, obviously talk about, like, the, uh, frequently asked questions and stuff. And one of those frequently asked questions is, how much do I spend on raspberry? So, um, currently with getting her bodysuit done and I spent well over a thousand dollars just to get her and her bodysuit because I also sent the duct tape dummy off like I just did that and obviously I'm gonna be getting a bodysuit so yeah um well over a thousand dollars probably even two thousand dollars just to get raspberry and what I'm getting in the future of her so yeah and another frequently asked question is who made raspberry? And who is currently making raspberry? That's another frequently asked question. Who is currently making raspberry? The other parts and who made her? Which all of it was made by the same person who is Soul Shuck Studios on Instagram. And you can find their Instagram on in the link tree in the description of the video. And obviously stuff like that. Ooh. But anyway, though, and what else is there? I don't know if there's any other frequently asked questions, but, like, you know, those were the two f most, most asked questions that I have gotten that I have obviously, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna, like, yeah, but those, I don't know. Those were the most frequently asked questions I got about Raspberry, about that. Oh yeah, and there is one more frequently asked question I wanted to answer was, or two of them, were how did I join the fandom and why did I join the fandom? And I keep getting these questions, and yeah, I put her down. I just wanted to put her down real quick, but the two other frequently asked questions are why and how I joined the fandom. Which, you know, the why, or I should probably should ask how. How did I join the fandom? And that is when I, in 2016, my sophomore year of high school, I was turning 16 and stuff. And I was obviously in art class. And we had, like, these little laptops in that class to, like, look up things to, like, print out and, like, obviously draw and stuff. And I was on YouTube and on my phone, actually. I was actually on my phone. Not on the laptop, but we do ha we did have those at, in my art class at in high school. But in high school, on my phone, I see, like, looking up on YouTube, how to draw animals. And this was around the time that, uh, like, a lot of, like, compilations about, like, the cringy part of, like, the furry, <clears throat> ooh, furry fandom and stuff. And, obviously... You know, yeah, and I ended up looking at, like, how to draw a dog or how to draw a cat. But when I looked up how to draw a dog, I ended up scrolling and stuff and obviously, like, came across 
how to draw a furry fox. I was like, cool, I'm gonna click on that because it, it was an anthropomorphic fox, human-like face. And obviously, like, you know, sorry about that, but um, as I was saying, I it was like an anthropomorphic face on a fox. And obviously, like, you know, it was like, sorry, there was a notification. But yeah, it was an anthropomorphic, you know, fox and stuff. And obviously, like, um, you know, just, yeah. And I clicked on it and did it and stuff. I looked up, like, furry. And that's, like, and it led me down the rabbit hole of, like, the furry fandom, uh, like, all this stuff, like, cringe furry compilations and stuff. So, yeah. And, obviously, that's how I joined the fandom. And why, why am I still in the fandom to this day, I probably should answer, is probably because, um, obviously, the the fandom, it, it has a lot of potential in it to being, like, good with art and, like, stuff like that. Like, there's so many good things about the fandom. And, obviously, there is the bad parts of the fandom that, like, you know, yeah, that obviously is still odd to this day. But, you know, yeah, but it's just, like, it can be, it has such a big potential to be something a lot bigger than it actually is. So, yeah, and... Those are obviously the two other, you know, frequently asked questions about, like, that I keep getting asked about and stuff. So, yeah, and, um, sorry, my, it's allergy season right now, so obviously I'm gonna be, like, rubbing my nose and itching my nose a lot because of allergy season. And so, um, yeah, other than that, then I don't really have anything else to say except for... Thank you for 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. I really enjoy making YouTube videos and stuff. And obviously TikToks and all that. So yeah, if you want to go, just check out the link tree in my description. Check out Soulstruck Studio on Instagram. Because you're potentially going to see her bodysuit and stuff. And obviously, you know, check out my TikTok, my Twitter my Instagram, and just stuff like that. So yeah, and other than that, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys, you know, see you in the next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, stuff like that, you know, and obviously, you know, yeah, see you all guys later, you know. Bye for now, and yeah, it's just, yeah, bye for now. Yeah. You know. <laughs> God.